Well, hey everybody, my name is Johnny. I'm a believer. I struggle with alcoholism and codependency, and it's been a long time since we've had a YouTube video, so I thought I'd take a few minutes and just record something to let you know what's been going on. There is a lot of stuff happening in the world of Celebrate Recovery, and if you haven't yet heard about Celebrate Recovery, you don't know what Celebrate Recovery is, I'm going to put a link uh, right up here that you can click on about what to expect or, or what Celebrate Recovery is at least for you to check that out when you get a chance. If you do know about Celebrate Recovery, welcome. We're glad that you're back. Uh, we're trying to fill this channel with some content that we hope will help you as you go through your recovery journey. There's a few things I want to tell you about, the big, but the biggest one is this. Registration for the 2018 Summit is now open on CelebrateRecovery.com. If you head there right now and you uh, there should be a banner, you can click on it and it'll say Summit. Sign up for the East Coast Summit, which is July 11th, 12th, and 13th, or the West Coast Summit, Summit which is August uh, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, and here's the thing about the summit. It's a three-day recovery party. It's for people who are interested in starting Celebrate Recovery or taking their Celebrate Recovery to the next level. Lots of people say, who should come to the summit? Leaders. If you're a leader in Celebrate Recovery, you should come to one of the summits. If you're thinking about being a leader at Celebrate Recovery, you should come to the summit. Now, it's not like the All Together Rally, which is for every participant in Celebrate Recovery. This really is for people who are interested in learning about what to do and how to grow their Celebrate Recovery. I'd love to give you more details about who's going to be there to perform. We've got two concerts this year, but I can't yet because we're still working on it. I'd love to tell you some of the new stuff that we're going to cover, but I can't yet. We're still working on it. But what I do want to let you know is that early bird registration for each of them is open now. And the, the reason I want to tell you about that is that's the best possible deal you can get is by signing up early bird and a group of four or more. You're gonna get a group rate at the early bird rate. Now, I, I always hesitate to do this kind of stuff because it sounds like we're just talking about money and I hope you know me by now that that's not what I'm doing. I'm not just trying to sell you stuff, but I do wanna try to save you money. I believe the summit is worth every penny that it's gonna cost you to get there from travel to the ticket to hotel and food, all of it. I believe it's worth everything that it's, that it's gonna cost you. But I also know that it's expensive to, to do all of that. That's why there's two of them, by the way. That's why we have one in uh, Tennessee in July and one here on the West Coast in August. So maybe if you're on the East Coast or the Southern states, it's a little bit easier to get to Tennessee. If you're on the West Coast or in the Middle states, or if you just wanna come check out Disneyland or Hollywood or something like that, you're gonna wanna come to the West Coast Summit. Either way, it's the same exact thing. We have the same people, the same workshops, all of that stuff is the same. We're just trying to make it a little bit easier to get to. Plus, we can have way more people come to those as well. Now, here's the deal. They've sold out the last three or four years in a row. It's going to sell out again. I want to encourage you to go to CelebrateRecovery.com and sign up for that right away um, at the group rate, at the early bird rate, to save your group the most amount of money. But I don't want to do a whole YouTube video just about the summit, just about signing up for those things, because that just doesn't that doesn't feel great for me. So what I do wanna talk about is a little bit about a lesson I learned this week. And it's a lesson I learned from pain. Um, I hurt my neck this week. I think I did it in the gym. I might've done it sleeping. I don't know. All I know is that I really, I hurt my neck and it went really from my neck all the way down to my lower back. And I was doing that thing where I kind of was turning like a robot and every time I would move, it would hurt. And it reminded me that pain is a motivator. Pain is something that gets us moving. When we're comfortable, when we're feeling good, it's really easy just to stay there, just to kind of camp out in feeling good, just to kind of camp out in this is okay. Even if it's not great, it's okay. But pain gets us moving. As my as my neck hurt, I was doing everything I could. I was putting ice on it. I was sitting in the sauna. I was trying to roll it out with a foam roller. I was doing every, I had my kids walk on my back. I slept with pillows all around me. I tried to do everything. I tried to change my posture, posture and took ibuprofen and looked up for different remedies on how to help with pain. Pain gets us interested, it gets us moving. You might be going through pain right now. Maybe not physical pain, but maybe psychological pain, or maybe it's pain of a hurt, hang up, or habit. And I believe God is trying to get your attention through that pain. He's trying to say to you, it's time to move. It's time to do something about this pain. C.S. Lewis has this quote where he says, 
God whispers to us in our pleasure, but he shouts to us in our pain. And in fact, pain is God's megaphone to a deaf world. If you're going through pain right now, God's trying to get your attention. He's saying, get up and get moving. Take care of it. Just like you would take care of a a bad neck. You'd go to the chiropractor or get a massage or you'd try to roll it out or whatever it is. If you're in pain in a relationship or pain with a hurt, hang up or habit, take some action on it. If you're brand new to this and you're one of the people that needed to watch that first video to find out what Celebrate Recovery is all about, take action. Right now, God is using the pain in your life to say, pay attention to this and deal with it. I believe that God allows the pain to crank up in our lives like a thermostat until we do something about it. He allows that pain to keep going until we take him up on it and we go to him for help. Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you give you rest. Take my yoke upon you because my burden is easy. See, life isn't easy, but following Jesus, when we take his yoke, he a yoke is something that would take two animals and put them together. So that way, instead of having one ox or one horse pull a cart, you'd have two ox or two horses pulling a cart and a yoke puts them together and they can share the load. Jesus is saying, I can take most of, if not all of the load, you just have to do a small part. So if you're burdened, if you're hurting, take my yoke upon you and it'll be lighter for you. He's making that offer to you right now as you're in pain. If you've been in recovery for a long time, you know that, but maybe there's something else in your life that's crept up and you've been ignoring, you've been pushing away and God's using this pain in your life right now to say to you, it's time to pay attention to this and do something about it. I wanna encourage you to go to CelebrateRecovery.com if you don't know a CR in your area and click on find a group. Find a group in your area that you can go to where you can find men and women who are overcoming and finding freedom and victory from all kinds of life's hurts, hangups, and habits, and they can help you find that same freedom and victory as well. If you're already a part of a Celebrate Recovery and there's something in your life that's causing you pain and you haven't shared about it yet, what are you waiting for? Start right now. Call your sponsor. Call your accountability partners. Get to an open share group or your step study and share about what's causing you pain because I know that God is going to use that and he is going to give you comfort. He is going to give you freedom. He is going to give you peace that transcends all understanding. How do I know that? Because I've watched it happen for thousands of people and it's happened for me as well. So pain is a great motivator. My neck is starting to feel a little bit better, but on my way over to Celebrate Recovery, I started noticing that I was trying to check my rear view mirror and it was still a little tight. It didn't go away all at once, but it's starting to feel better as I've taken steps and pain in our life is the same way. So I wanna encourage you, if you're going through pain right now, do something about it. Reach out for help. Say to one other person, "I'm, I'm hurting, I'm in pain, will you help me? And I know, Like I said, because it's happened to thousands, if not millions of people all over the world, and it's happened personally for me, that through this program of the power of Jesus Christ, he will give you rest. I hope you'll take me up on it. I hope you'll go to a Celebrate Recovery. I hope you'll join us at the summit this summer, and I hope you'll keep coming here for more videos. I promise I'm gonna try to get more on sooner. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time.